To have people emotionally invested in the long-term good of Florida so that they build that business here and grow that business here and raise their family here and care deeply about the long-term generational needs of the state that we get to call home year-round, we need to get them here sooner. And that's what the future of Florida looks like. The future of Florida not only involves 100 million tourists per year, the future of Florida not only is a prize for a life well lived someplace else for some of the most talented business leaders from around the globe, the future of Florida is a dynamic education system that steals the valedictorians and salutatorians from high schools all over the world to come here to graduate from our top shelf state colleges and universities. The future of Florida is that they fall in love with our state and decide to stay here after they get that diploma. The future of Florida means that the interior of our state becomes a destination of choice to diversify our economy with manufacturing that provides an eight to one multiplier in our economy and that gives families in some of our most rural communities the opportunity for their kids to stay home in their community build it up, make it greater, but still have the kind of career that will allow them to take care of their families. The future of Florida means that we take care of what makes Florida special, which includes water and education. The future of Florida includes a third pipeline for our energy needs, so that in a state that is on its way to being two thirds dependent on natural gas for our electricity needs, we diversify that by adding the lifeblood of our economy so that we can sustain the types of hits that a peninsula in Hurricane Alley takes and have the reliability that people deserve and the opportunity to plug into that new pipeline for the kind of manufacturing jobs that we need. The future of Florida means that an agricultural industry that's not very glamorous and not very sexy and it's not top of mind for Enterprise Florida conversations, but it's a hundred billion dollar economic pillar, it will continue to be a, a pillar of our economy, a driver and an employer, not just for the things that we come to expect in some type of old McDonald's farm or Norman Rockwell tableau, but the type of high tech, 21st century productivity that will allow our state and our nation to feed the 10 billion people who will be on our planet by 2050. Because if we fail at that, if we fail as a society to feed 10 billion new mouths by 2050, then mankind's going to take a break from the last 200 years of fighting over ideology and go back to fighting over land, water, and food. Florida can be a leader in that respect, just as we can be a leader in the most high-tech and exciting things that any economic development planner could ever imagine. Those are what the things that the future of Florida looks like. The future of Florida, for me, is the type of opportunity where when kids graduate from our top shelf colleges and universities, they're not drawn to Charlotte and Austin and Boston and New York. The future of Florida means that elected officials in those states bemoan to their chamber how tired they are of losing their brightest and their best to the Sunshine State. Those are the things that the future of Florida looks like. 